All right, so now I'm gonna show you how we can solve this problem using the area model for division. So here I have a four digit number, 6,782 divided by two. Now, I'm drawing a rectangle. It's called the area model for division because we're gonna treat it as finding this entire space on the inside is the area. And this entire inside has an area of 6,782. So I'm gonna write that in my upper left hand corner so that way I can remember how much area is on the inside. This number two is gonna be my side length. So I'm gonna put two right here. And my answer or my quotient, I'm gonna figure it out and it's gonna be my total number that I get. It'll be the total of this side length. Great. So now I wanna start with my thousands place. Since I have 6,000, my thousands is the greatest place value. I want to think to myself, two times what thousand will get me closest to 6,000. So I'm going to start with the smallest thousand, which is just 1,000. Two times 1,000 is 2,000. Now, 2,000 is close to 6,000, but I know I can get even closer. So let me try another thousand. Let's try 3,000. 3,000 times two gives me 6,000. I'm very, I'm just about there next to 6,000. Let me just try 4,000. Let's see if I can get even closer. 4,000 times two is 8,000. And that's too big, that passed 6,782. So I can't use this. I know that the closest I can get to, um, to 6,782 is if I use a side length of 3,000. So I'm gonna take 3,000 and I'm going to put it on top as a side length of the rectangle. Now I want to subtract what I use. So 3,000 times 2 gave me 6,000. So, so far, I used 6,000 of the area of the inside of my rectangle. And when I subtract, I have 782 left, 82 area left within the rest of the rectangle. So, I'm going to take what's left and bring it over to the other part of the rectangle. Since we already used up 6,000, there's 782 left. Great. Now, just how we did before, in this number, the greatest place value I have is the hundreds. So I know that two times some hundred will get me closest to 700. Let's try 200. Two times two is four, and I have two zeros. So now I'm gonna add on my two zero, that's 400. I know that I'm close to 782, but I'm not there yet. Let's try 300. 300 times two is 600. I'm close to 700, but not there yet. Two times 400 equals 800. I passed 782, so I can't use that. Great, so now the closest side length will be 300. Great, so now I'm gonna take away what I used. I already used 300 times two, or 600. So I'm gonna take away my 600, because that's what I used, and now let's see what's left. Two, eight, one, I have 182 left for this last part of the rectangle. Let's bring it over. Great, so now my greatest place value is still hundreds. So let's see what could a side length be. Let's try two times 100. Two times 100 is 200. I notice that this 200 is bigger than 182, so I have to go to a smaller place value. A place value smaller than hundreds is a tenth. So I want to multiply two times a 10 that would get me closest to 182. So let's try, I don't know, 70. I know that seven times two is 14. I'm going to add a zero because it's a 10. That's 140. Let's see if I can get even closer. 2 times 80. I know that 8 times 2 is 16, and I have a zero. Okay, let's try 90. 9 times 2 is 18, and add a zero. Perfect. I didn't go over 182. I'm very close. So this side length is going to be 90. And now I'm gonna take away what I used. So 
So 90 times 2 gave me 180. And now I have 2 left. Great, I can just draw another part of the rectangle, bring up my 2. Now I have 2 left. This is very simple. How many times can 2 go into 2? It's just 1 time. 2 times 1 is 2, because I already used up 2. And now I have nothing left over. So I just divided, and I have all these numbers on top. Now I'm going to just add it up. 3,000 plus 300 plus 90 plus 1. It's going to give me a total of 3,391. And that is my answer. That's the answer that I just got by using the area model for division.